Were you able to get any sleep this week? Hmm. A couple of hours, maybe. The nightmare? Getting progressively worse. I got taken under this time. Oh, no. Then? Then I woke up. I have this feeling of dread, as if it's building to something. Yeah? Sometimes I feel like I'm gonna lose it completely. I understand. Lack of sleep can be tough on the mind and the body. You're still certain you don't wanna be prescribed anything? I don't want anything, no. I'm almost more terrified of what I'll see if I actually can't wake up. How are the meditation exercises going? Well, I'm doing them. That's good. I guess. It's been a year now. A year? Since the attack? Yes, of course. Um, how do you feel about that? Shitty, obviously. Right. Alone. Do you still blame yourself? Hey. Hey, beautiful. How you doing? Oh, you know. Tired. Headache. The usual. How was your session? Oh, swell. How does that make you feel, and how do you feel about that? All day. And how do you feel about that? Shut up, jerk face. I am not a jerk face. You're a part-time jerk face. Yeah? And the other part-time, I'm a luscious, righteous goddess, right? Right. <laughs> how was your day, luscious? <laughs> you know me. I slay all day. You did not just say slay all day. I did. You didn't. I did, though. I hate you. You love me. You suck. Only if you let me. <laughs> hey, let me take you out tonight. Let's go do something fun. <sighs> I don't really feel like going anywhere. I'm already lounging. Ah, uh, it's one of those kind of days, huh? Pretty much. Okay, then let me come over and make you dinner. I certainly won't argue against that. Shocker. <laughs> I'll be by around six. Sounds good. See you then, beautiful. Bye, luscious goddess. So? So? What do you think? It was I. Right. I'll do better next time. Could you please? <laughs> okay. It was amazing. Thank you. Mm, my pleasure. Oh no, I, I'll, I'll do that. Nada. I got this. You chillax. Wanna watch a movie? Maybe, what are you thinking? I don't know. 
something funny. Got us a little party favor. Ah, <laughs> you know I'm not down with the devil's lettuce. You still scared of the reefer madness? I'm terrified of those herbal jazz cigarettes. <laughs> oh, come on, it's just ganj, babe. Keep telling you this will help you sleep. I know, but... How are you sleeping, by the way? Any better? Not really. I managed maybe a couple of shitty hours a night. Oh, babe. I'm so sorry. That really sucks. You know what's great to help you sleep? Keep all the bad dreams away? What's that? <laughs> Making sweet love by the fire. My fireplace is broken. <laughs> Making sweet love will keep the sharks away. Oh yeah, they hate the sound. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't, I don't know. It's okay. I understand. Do you? Of course. I don't feel ready to go there yet. I know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel... No, 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 no. Don't say sorry. You've been nothing but amazing and patient with me. I don't know who would put up with waiting... Four months. Has it been? Yeah. Not that I noticed or anything. <laughs> yeah, right. We can just cuddle and watch a movie. I'll take it. I just want to be here. I'm glad you're here. Be nice to have someone who supports you. Yes? Of course. It's great. Almost too great. And what do you mean by that? You know, just too good to be true. Ah, yes. She's just so loving and sweet. I feel like a total asshole by comparison. Well, you're going through something. It sounds like she understands that. She does, but I'm always wary of anyone who seems too perfect, you know? Meanwhile, here I am, an emotional mess who can't even get intimate with her. Has she expressed any feelings to you about that? No, not really. I mean, she seems disappointed at times, but who wouldn't, right? <laughs> Every time we get close, I just can't. Have you been with women before? Yeah. In college, I dated both. But Seth was my first real long-term relationship, though. Why did you think I... Oh, just asking. Yeah, no, it's, it's not that at all. It's more like, 
this wall I can't break through. Almost as if he won't let me. Who? Seth? Maybe. Or the shark? I don't know, that sounds ridiculous and batshit. <laughs> that does not sound ridiculous and batshit. It makes sense, in a way. It does? A shark not wanting me to be intimate? Why not? It doesn't want to lose its power over you. If you let yourself go and become intimate with someone, you may feel better. If you feel better, you may relax. If you relax, you may... I may not have the dreams anymore. Right, right. I'm just tossing ideas around. The human mind is very complex. Isn't it, though? I just want to be able to shut it off and be able to sleep. Well, have you been doing the meditation? The meditations, yes. I thought exercise would help too, but I'm just so damn tired all the time. Have you given any more thought to the pool? No. No way. Not ready for that. Okay. No problem. Understood. I'll get there, just not yet. Understood. Um, is next week at 8 still good for you? Yes, should be. I have an appointment next Wednesday, if that works for you. Um, my dog Ryan has an appointment on our usual Tuesday, so... Your dog's name is Ryan? Yeah, kinda funny, right? Uh, he was my brother's first, so he came to me named. So I'll go ahead and put you down. Ah! Oh my god, are you okay? What happened? Okay, just breathe, breathe. Um, everything is fine. What did you see? I... I can't... I can't... Okay, okay, just breathe and relax. Whoa, I'm so sorry. No, do not apologize. This is really embarrassing. I... Uh... None of that, now. I should go. Apparently I'm seeing shit now. I, uh... Saw a shark in the window. You mean out there? Yeah. It was swimming towards you, moving through the air like water. Oh, wow. I need to fucking sleep, don't I? Am I going crazy? No, you're not. Like I said, lack of sleep can be brutal on the mind. I'm going to recommend you to a colleague that can prescribe you some- No! No pills. Okay. I understand, no pills. It's Hector, right? Javier. Javier, right. Hey, look, Javier. 
I know you're doing your job, but could you maybe do it later? Or better yet, tomorrow? Or never? <laughs> it's just I have a really bad headache from lack of sleep, and it's especially bad right now. I would really appreciate it. I could maybe even give you some money. I can't do it. I have to finish. Well, maybe, I don't know, you could use a rake. Hmm? You know, a rake. What you're supposed to use after you gather up the leaves. I can't do it. I, I don't have. You don't have a rake. So then what the f What are you even doing then? You're just blowing leaves and dirt from one yard to another. You're not cleaning shit. You're just spreading dirt everywhere and disturbing everyone's peace. And it helps nothing. Does it make you feel good to know you were literally doing nothing useful? Why don't you blow the leaves into a pile and pick them the fuck up and toss them? Why? Tell me why! Sorry, senora. I have to finish work. Look, I'm sorry I yelled. It's been a rough several months for me and I think I'm starting to lose it a bit. I apologize. You sure I can't just give you some money and maybe you can finish early? I can't do it. But I, I finish fast, I go, okay? Such a giant douchebag. I mean, yeah. <laughs> That's the last thing that guy needed. Was some crazy girl yelling at him for doing his job. I probably sounded no better than some racist asshole. Oh. Oh. It's not that bad. Those things are super loud and annoying, especially when you're tired with a headache. I'm sure you're not the first person to say something. I can't tell you how many times I wanted to myself. I just. Then I... What? Never mind, nothing. Not important. You sure? Yes. What's for dinner? I was thinking tacos and margaritas. Wait, really? Or are you making fun of me still? <laughs> A little bit of both. Hey! <laughs> Wait, but you like tacos, right? Of course I like tacos. I just feel weird saying like, yay, tacos, given what just happened. <laughs> it's actually more ignorant for you to assume that he was Mexican. He could have been from El Salvador for all you know. Oh, geez, you're right. Oh, come on, I'm totally kidding. <laughs> Why do I suck so bad? You don't. You actually suck good. How would you know? I can just imagine. Thank you. Thank you for being awesome. I honestly can't help it. Brody! Hey, where are you going? My dog is more humble than you and he's totally full of himself.
Hold it together, Liz. Hold it together. Hey, do you have any of that non-dairy vegan coffee ice cream I like in your fridge? You know that stuff that you had that one time? The, like, only time you ever made me dinner? Hello? Liz? What are you doing? Oh, hey, Brody! What is up, my guy? Oh, yo, I miss you, too. Liz, oh my God, what is going on? <laughs> I have no idea what's going on over there, but you look ridiculous. This actually reminds me of that one time that you snuck into my room and tried to jack my scuba dive Barbie. And I totally caught you, but you thought I didn't see you. So you like inched your way through the door. <laughs> and I was like, dude, why are you jacking my settings? And you're like, I'm not jacking your settings. <laughs> Oh God, jacking my settings. What a stupid saying our dad ingrained into us. I still say jacking all the time. Okay, Liz, enough. What is up? <laughs> you are dead. Am I? <laughs> Says, of course I am. I'm dead as Daffy and Duck season. Or am I? What, what are you doing here, Peyton? Well, I wanted to see you. I mean, you look like shit. All that lack of sleep. Thank you. Hey, what are older sisters for, huh? I'm completely losing my mind. This is true. But I do have some good news for you. Turns out... I can help you. You just gotta listen to me, okay? Come here. Sit down. Let's have a kiki. What's it like to be dead? Short answer, it sucks. It is so boring. And there's this. This is supposed to be attached to me. Other than that though, honestly, it's really not that different from being alive. I've completely lost my mind. Most likely, yeah. But I have to tell you, sis, this isn't going to stop until you let go. Let go? Of what? Well, you can start with that chick. Chick? You mean Roberta? Mm-hmm. Yeah. She is bad news bears. Are you kidding? She's a godsend. Oh. <laughs> no. Nope. Cut that shit loose. Okay. Let's say you're actually here talking to me. Let's. And this isn't some insane hallucination, which I'm pretty sure it is. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Liz, I... I have something to say. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about Seth. I'm... Sorry I had a thing with him. Or, you knew, didn't you? I suspected. Then why didn't you say something? What was I supposed to say? <laughs> I don't know anything. Hey, Peyton, are you banging my boyfriend? Something like that? I didn't want to know. I wanted to be wrong. I wanted it to go away. Is that why you hesitated? Huh? A 
second day on the water, I could have sworn you hesitated to pull me into the boat. What? Hey, it's okay, sis, I get it. It was just a moment. No, I would- Just long enough for it to get me. Wait, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> and then that was it. She was gone. Just gone? Yep. Did you actually see her vanish, or was she just there, then not there? Do you mean if I actually saw her disintegrate or something? Well, whatever. N no, she was just there, then not. I always wondered about that. When people say that they saw something vanish in front of their eyes, what that really looked like. It's never happened to me. Okay. And that's cool. I didn't mean to distract you with questions. Um, <clears throat> please continue. That's it. What do you think she meant about Roberta being bad news bears? I have no idea. Zero. I would think she'd be happy that there was someone there to comfort and take care of me. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. It's just all kinds of wrong. Do you want to talk about what she said at the end? About the hesitation? I... I don't think I hesitated. Okay. But... I don't know. Up till now, your guilt has been about being the only survivor, correct? I guess. Maybe there's more to it. You saying I did hesitate? Not at all. But maybe you think you did? You said you told Peyton that you suspected something was going on, but did you? Or did you actually know? I don't know, maybe. Okay, we don't have to talk about this. <sighs> I, just, I just want to know why Peyton came to me. Hallucinations have no logic. Are you sure it was a hallucination? No, not today. There you are. Hi. I was knocking out front. Oh, sorry. I was just back here. Thinking about taking a swim? No, not yet. You sure? Could be fun. I'm sure. Hey, you're early. Dinner's not ready yet. Yeah, I got off work on time for once. I was excited to see what my girls made me. Well, don't get too excited. I basically know how to make two things, meatloaf and stir fry. Ooh, yum. So what we haven't? Thought we'd have fish. That was really good. Stop lying. Not lying. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> How was your session today? It was interesting. How so? I haven't really told you about that day Peyton and Seth died, have I? Not really. I just figured you weren't ready to talk about the details. I wasn't, but I am now. Oh, okay then. But we need wine first. Lots of it. <laughs> I'm down for that. Ugh. Doctor said I was lucky I didn't bleed out or lose my leg. Book. Peyton and Seth weren't so lucky. Wow. Do you have any battle scars? Um, 
Oh. What am I saying? Of course you don't. You are perfect. Far from it. Oh, look. Check this out. What am I looking at? Bee sting, fourth grade. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> I crack me up. Oh, I know you do. <laughs> Cheers to that. Mm. We were on our scuba dive trip. I had just learned and it was gonna be my first time in the open ocean. I was nervous like you wouldn't believe. The sea has always scared me. Me too, I understand. Yeah, the not knowing what's under there, the power of it, yet I was always drawn to it. Anyway, so we're there in the water, our raft just a few meters away. I started to freak out and swim back to the raft I couldn't get myself to dive under even after all those lessons. I'm just about to climb in. Peyton and Seth are of course yelling at me to come back, but I didn't listen. At one point I remember turning around to face them one last time before going in. And there they were looking so close, so intimate. I felt the shudder of disappointment and disgust. I had suspected there was something going on between them, but that's, that's when I knew. I turn to get in, and I feel this pull on my leg. I can't explain it, it jolted me. I reach down and feel my leg has been torn. There's blood on my hand. I'm just about to scream when there's this splashing sound and Seth is yelling, shark, get back to the raft. Peyton is screaming too. Seth is flailing in the water, then whoosh, he's gone. Taken under, just red water left behind. Peyton is screaming, get back to the raft. She starts swimming towards me. I don't know where I found the strength, but I pull myself in. I look and see Peyton swimming as fast as she can. I can see the shadow of the shark behind her. It's not like in the movies where you see the fin chasing her. No. It was deeper in the water, but from my view, I could see it. I yell at her to hurry. She's almost to the raft. She reaches for me. I, I reach for her and she's taken under. Swift and silent like nothing. I don't know if it was one shark or many. I'm guessing many, cause that would make more sense. At this point, it's just me alone in the raft in shock and bleeding. Wow. I have no idea what to say. I can't even imagine. Yeah, luckily, a yacht came by to save me. I mean, that was damn lucky. <gasps> Someone was watching over you. Oh, I don't believe in that bullshit. It's okay. You don't have to. The thing is, I think I... hesitated when I reached to help Peyton out. I think I... I think I wanted the shark to get her. No. It couldn't be true. I don't know anymore. Hey, hey, I'm here. It's okay. I'm not going anywhere. 
Wait, I, I don't think this is the time to... Disagree, I want to. Liz. No, Berta. I'm tired of being afraid. I want to live. I want to live my life. Sorry, that's gross. Don't apologize. It's sexy snot. <laughs> no. Oh, God, no. Uh, let me at least get a little bit presentable. I'll be right back. You're really gonna sleep with that girl? Oh my god, now you too? What do you want? I came to keep you from making a mistake. What mistake? Sleeping with that girl. I always knew you dug girls. You checked them out more than I would. Maybe that's because you were too busy checking my sister out. Touche. I'm going to walk out of this bathroom, and you are going to disappear. Mm, afraid not. This is too important. What's too important? You cutting this bitch loose. No. I'm not taking this from you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I don't know what's going on with me. It's okay. Please, it's okay. I just wish they'd leave me alone. Why won't they leave me alone? Who? Peyton and Seth. They were here? Well, they're gone now. I'm here. And they're gone. Sunshine? Jesus, Peyton, what the hell? So, did you hook it up with that non-dairy vegan coffee ice cream yet, or what? What? No. Thanks, sis. Glad to see how much you love me. Ooh, how about some cinnamon dolce latte? I just have plain coffee. Plain coffee? Lame. Almost as lame as matcha green tea. Huh? Never mind. So, I hear someone almost got laid last night. That's none of your business. Well, Seth already told me all about it, so. You guys talk? Oh yeah, all the time. It's not like there's much else to do around here. Are you sure you don't have like, just something that I can munch on? Can you even eat? Yeah. Mm, no. 
But yeah. Oh, yes. That is what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Done. Do you mind if I pour myself some coffee? Not at all. But do me a favor and pass those over. Hey -o. Mm. You look like shit, Peyton. Mm. You stole my lime. And yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't look so hot, I know. God, remember how flawless my skin was in life? I do. I hated you for it. <gasps> oh, I know. My zits had zits. Meanwhile, your skin was smooth as shit from a duck's ass. <laughs> nice. And accurate. All the boys and the girls, actually, wanted to touch my sister's smooth, perfect skin. Aw, stop hating, sis. Bless. Look at me now. It's actually kind of good to see you, Peyton. Even if you look like puked up sushi. Thank you. So, what's up? <clears throat> Ugh, plain black coffee. Ugh. You want water? No, I'm good. Now. You don't seem to be getting it. Sure I do. You and Seth are undead, and I need to get rid of Roberta for some reason. Yeah, <laughs> that's, uh, that's right. Why? You just have to. She's holding you back. From what? Liz, listen to me. If you don't, Seth and I will never go away, and you will be cursed to see us rot. I don't understand any of this. You don't have to, you just have to believe me. So breaking up with her will change that? I didn't say break up with her. I said get rid of her. Wait a minute. You don't mean... Shit. <gasps> Sorry. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. It's all good. No worries. Okay? See? All good. <laughs> oh, come on, sis. Stop being so dramatic. It wasn't all that. <clears throat> that was truly the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. I admit, it was not tight. So, you good? I'm good. So I take it you don't want this coffee. <clears throat> mm. All right, sis. I gotta head. But remember what I said, okay? I don't even know what you said. Yeah, you do. I still don't understand why. Get rid of her! Wow, that's some intense stuff. Um, yeah. What do you think it means? Isn't that what you were supposed to tell me? Not necessarily. Love that. The answer that's not an answer. <laughs> that's what we do. In all seriousness, I'm supposed to help you decipher what it means, not tell you what it means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that this is tough. I know that you want definitive answers. Unfortunately, I can't provide you with that. But can I offer a suggestion? I know that we discussed swimming in the pool as a way to face your fear of being in actual water with Roberta there to support you. Yeah. I don't think. I think that it would be a first step to another level. Just something to try. I'm not ready for that yet. Will you consider it? Yeah, I'll consider it, but I won't do it. 
Well, then that's not really considering it, is it, Liz? I don't give a flying rat's ass. There's no way I'm ready to get into a pool. Nuh-uh, no way, nope. Come on, Liz. Just put your feet in. I'll hold your hands. I'm good. This is as close to the pool as I like to get. Oh, come on. For me? Don't try that. It might actually work. That's what I'm counting on. Yay! <laughs> Just give me a minute. Don't try anything. I won't. I wouldn't dare. Take your time. <laughs> oh, you're doing so good, baby! Don't do that child baby encouraging talk. I'll just bail. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Me? Shush. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Try more meditation, maybe? That doesn't seem to be working for you. Yeah, but I haven't been putting all my focus onto it. I've been lazy. Also, I haven't been exercising. Let me try again. If there's no progress, if it gets worse, and then I'll take something. Fair? Fair. Oh my god, this is never going to work Oh, Peyton, what do you want? Why are you doing this? Told ya. You gotta cut it loose. Gotta cut all this shit loose. Otherwise, it's just gonna get worse. Some fruit? It's really ripe. No, thank you. Uh, hey, uh, at work today, Brendan was telling me this crazy gossip about my coworker, Josh, who I was telling you about. The one who's always saying inappropriate things. <laughs> so apparently, he tells my boss that he thinks his manness is holding him back at the office. <laughs> like, isn't that hilarious? God, I just want that guy to get a haircut. You ready to eat? Hey, I get it if you don't like it, but you can be a little nicer though. I know, I'm sorry. It looks great, I'm just totally losing my mind. Don't say that. No, you're not. I really think I am. Look, I believe you can beat this and get better. But if you give up, there's no hope. And I'm sorry to be blunt like this, but it's true. There's no hope. I've lost family to mental illness. I can recognize the signs. But Liz, I believe in you. I know you have what it takes to conquer this and get better. But that doesn't mean jack if you don't. 
now. Do you believe it? Say it. I believe it. Believe what? That I can conquer this thing. Goddamn right you can. Now who's my tough bitch? I'm your tough bitch. Hell yeah. <sighs> now eat your food. Why? None of us can go anywhere until you do it. It's just the way it is. Why can't I just break up with her? Yeah, go ahead and try. It's not gonna work. So you'll let me? You'll let me try that first? If I can get rid of her that way, then it will be okay? Sure. You have tonight. Otherwise, we're gonna do it for you. Have fun. It's okay, Brody. Your mama's not full-blown psycho yet. I don't understand. I just think it's best for now. I'm not handling all this super well, and it's not fair to you to have to take care of me. But I like taking care of you. That's sweet, but I don't. I feel useless and weak. I need to prove to myself that I can face this and get over this alone. I can respect that. But I think it's a terrible idea. Of course you do. What does that mean? It means you want to be the hero. You probably like me so much because you love the idea of saving me. That's not true. Like hell it isn't. I'm willing to bet that when I finally do feel better, you'll lose interest. And you'll get bored and want to move on to the next damsel in distress that you can find. Liz, please. That can't be further from the truth. Well, I don't need or want a savior. I survived the attack. I can survive this. I know you can. I'm rooting for okay, you. Okay, great. So we agree. So now please, let me have my space. Liz, what's going on? <sighs> Love of Christ, there goes that therapist talk again. I already have one therapist, I don't need another. Don't do this. I love you. Well, I don't love you. Now please get out. Get out! I'm here if you need me, no matter what. I love you. Oh. Hey, good job. Let's watch something. I hear Six-Headed Shark Attack is on sci-fi. Payton, can you leave me alone a moment? Why? I want to watch some bad TV like we used to. Come on, please. <sighs> Fine.
I'll leave you alone to mope. Adios, Miss Morose. Who is it? It's me. Sorry. I think I left my planner in the kitchen. I promise I'll just grab it and go. I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on, but I can't leave you like this. I can't. See, I told you. I know. I know. Peyton? Seth? You guys out there? Peyton? See, we told you it wouldn't work. Jesus, Peyton. What? Aren't you used to this by now? What is it doing here? Waiting for you. This is the right thing. The only thing. Stop the pain. You let me die, Liz. You two carried on behind my back. I never said a damn thing about it because I was too scared. I'm not scared anymore. Maybe I did hesitate. Maybe I did. And maybe, just maybe, you two both deserve to die. Maybe we did. Speak for yourself. I have to ask one question. Didn't you feel bad? Wasn't the shame overwhelming, or did you just not care? Well, that was more than one question. Peyton. What? That was like three questions. You're such a bitch. Yeah, I can be. No, you are. Ew. Who asked you? Was it worth it? Tell me. No, not really. Yeah, I'd have to agree. That's just fantastic.
it's over. <sighs> there you go. Thanks. Is there anything else you need? Do you want to go to the ER? For what? For them to tell me I'm crazy? For stabbing my dead sister and ex-boyfriend? Who weren't there? I'm sorry, I just... No, I'm sorry. Truthfully, I can't believe you're still here. I can't believe you didn't call the police and have them take me away. I would never. I know you're not yourself. I'm not. Just promise you'll let me take you to the doctor tomorrow. I promise. My therapist is going to have a field day with this one. That'll be fine. Do you think I'm crazy? No. I think you went through something horrible and you're still dealing with it. Do you believe me about Peyton and Seth? I believe you love them very much and that you felt betrayed by them. And I also believe that you blame yourself for their deaths. I'll ask my therapist about medication tomorrow. But for now, do you have any of your stuff? Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, at this point, anything to help me sleep? Anything to make me feel different. You sure? Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Okay. I'm gonna go get it. <laughs> get it now. Okay. I'm, I'm going. Okay. <laughs> what do I do? Just in. You ever smoked a cigarette? In high school, it was gross. Okay. Similar idea. You inhale, but with this, you inhale deeper and you hold it a few seconds before you exhale. Ugh, don't you have a vape? Isn't that what everyone does nowadays? Yeah, but I left it at home and vaping's for bitches, okay? This is old school. You ready? Okay. Now hold it. Now exhale. <laughs> <coughs> that was fun, let's do that again. Okay.
Oui. Sleep well, my princess. Berta? You here? Berta? Oh my god. Hey. Sorry. It's okay. You're awake. Starting to get worried. How long was I asleep? About 28 hours. What? Yeah. Oh my god. Did you think I was dead? No, silly. But I thought if you didn't wake up this morning, then maybe I called the doctor. Maybe? Yeah. You've been sleep deprived for a year. You needed it. Did you sleep well? I guess I did. I didn't have a single dream. At least I don't remember. Wow. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy for you, babe. Mm. I'm happy for me, too. And I feel great. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Yay! Hooray for whatever it is you gave me that night. Hooray for weed. Yes! <laughs> Do people know it has medicinal purposes? <laughs> <laughs> I'm famished. What's for B-Fest? Haven't made anything to eat yet. Well, then, maybe I'll just start with you. Whoa, babe. Wait, for real? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, okay, shit. <laughs> I'm so sorry I made you wait that long. That's probably the dumbest thing I've ever done. Do not apologize. That was worth the wait. It sure was. Holy shit. <laughs> so seriously? I need some breakfast now. Yeah. I'm hungry too. Let's go to the kitchen, shall we? Yes, let's. But first... Mm. Okay, now let's go. Okay. Berta. Yeah. I can't move. So how long has it been? Two weeks, no nightmare. That's incredible. Uh, dreams of any kind? I don't know, I don't think so. If so, I don't remember any of them. 
But I've been sleeping soundly and waking up feeling like a million bucks. <sighs> Fantastic. Uh, the cannabis still helping? Actually, I haven't used it in about a week now. Hey. <laughs> and I've been meditating and swimming in the pool every day. No kidding. No kidding. I think that exercise is what's helping me sleep. Wow. <laughs> Just, wow. I am so happy for you. Me too. I feel like a person again. And you and Roberta are? We're doing really great. I'm up for more activities now, so we've been doing so many fun things. We're actually planning a trip to the Caicos Islands in a couple of months. Caicos? Where's that? It's in the Caribbean. Roberta has some friends out there that are actually going to take us diving with humpback whales. You're going diving? In the ocean? Yes. Oh my god! I know, I know. I told Roberta that if I freak out last minute, she can't pressure me. Of course, but that's so exciting. What brought this idea on? Well, before the incident, I had always wanted to dive, especially with whales. So when Roberta told me about her friends, I thought, why not? Might as well try, right? Right. Oh, that's wonderful, Liz. Thank you. And I really appreciate all your help. You're welcome. So, do you think you'll be able to go back to work soon? Yeah, I guess so. Huh. Funny, I can't remember the last time I worked. Or what that job was. Really? No, I'm kidding. It's just been a while. Hmm. So, next week? Yeah. Peyton? Seth? <sighs> Brody, you scared me. Okay, Brody, time for a meditation break. Join me. Um, okay, fine, you do you. Who is it? Pizza, ma'am. Pizza? I didn't order any pizza. Says your name, ma'am. What's the name? I said, what's the name? Says this address, ma'am. What's the name? Excuse me? What's the name on the order? Having a hard time hearing you. It's a uh, flying pizza, extra ham, ma'am. Okay, but what's the name? I think you have the wrong house. Ma'am? Oh my God, I said you have the wrong house. I think we've done all we can do here. Call it. Time of death, 11.52 p.m. Cause of death, blood loss due to shark bite. Nurse Kwan, make any arrangements. Yes, doctor. She put up a hell of a fight, though. Yeah, she sure did. <laughs> 